One type of reaction that we're going to talk about are called decomposition reactions. This is when you start with a single reactant, okay, and you add some sort of energy. It could be heat or electricity or something like that, or even a catalyst, and you produce two or more products. Your products could be elements or they could be compounds. Okay, so let's look at some examples. The simplest examples is when you have nice little sort of binary compounds with just two elements in it. Well, the only thing calcium and oxygen can break down into are calcium and oxygen. Just don't forget that oxygen is diatomic. So, pretty simple reaction. You just have to remember to balance it. Okay, so you're going to have a 2 and a 2, and that's it. You're all done. And this one, if you heated it, is what would happen. Another kind of energy we can add is electricity. And we just write electricity over the line. If we put electricity through sodium chloride, we make sodium and chlorine. Again, you just have to remember that chlorine is diatomic and go ahead and balance. Okay? So a lot of decomposition reactions are pretty simple. When you put electricity through water, you make hydrogen and oxygen. Again, you have to remember they're diatomic. And then you go ahead and balance it. There's a picture here of uh, the reaction. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bigger so we can look at it. You'll notice that we've got a battery. Oops, making a mess. Hang on. Um, we've got a battery, and we're going to put electricity through some water, which is in this beaker, and we're going to produce hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. And we can even tell which one's which. This one is your hydrogen, and this one is your oxygen. Can you tell how I know? Well, the reaction says that I make two molecules of hydrogen for every one molecule for oxygen. So you can see that I make twice as much hydrogen as I make oxygen. Okay, and that's called stoichiometry, and that's next chapter. Um, so under the category of I gotta memorize, there's two things. One is what happens when I heat a carbonate. Remember, carbonate is just the ion CO3 2 minus. When I heat calcium carbonate, I end up with calcium oxide and CO2 gas. Okay, hopefully you'll see a pattern here. When I heat sodium carbonate, I end up with sodium oxide and CO2 gas. What do you think happens when I heat aluminum carbonate? I make aluminum oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Okay? And that's really all there is to it, except we should balance them, right? That's already balanced, that's already balanced, and this one, we just need three CO2s. So you need to memorize what happens when you heat a carbonate, but it's always essentially the same thing. You get the oxide, and you get CO2 gas. We're also going to memorize what happens when we heat chlorates, bromates, or iodates. So chlorate, remember, is ClO3 minus, bromate is BrO3 minus, and iodate is IO3 minus. Okay. In this case, when we heat them, we get oxygen gas. So KClO3 makes KCl and oxygen. Calcium chlorate makes calcium chloride and oxygen. Similarly, sodium bromate makes sodium bromide and oxygen. Strontium iodate makes strontium iodide and oxygen gas. Okay, so the chlorate becomes a chloride. Chlorate, chloride. Bromate, bromide. Iodate, iodide. And you always make oxygen gas. Okay, and we should go through, of course, and balance. I'm going to put a 3 here, a 2 here, and a 2 here. Okay. I'm going to put a 3 here, and that's it. And for this one, I'm going to put a 3 here, a 2 here, and a 2 here. Okay. 
And then for this one here, I'm going to put a 3. So I know I balance fast, but take your time and balance them yourselves if you like to. The last category is just decomposition reactions that are really complicated, and they're so complicated that you don't have to memorize them. Just want to make you aware that you can heat a single compound and get multiple products, and you are not responsible for knowing what they are. Um, but I will probably demonstrate this last one for you because it's kind of cool. You start with an orange solid and you end up with this green powder and it kind of looks like fireworks. So we'll demonstrate that in class because it's kind of cool. And that's it. That's decomposition.